I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for this national anthem. Well done, boys and girls. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 2022 Krista McAuliffe graduation. It is such a special time, and we are so fortunate to be together in, in such a special place with such special people. Um, it, it's uh, just such a wonderful thing that the rain held off this morning for us and we have a, a beautiful, beautiful morning to get together to celebrate and honor our students here today who are going to be uh, graduating. Um, I know we have lots of teachers and staff members and parents and family and I want to welcome you here for this very, very special event. For all of those people who are watching online and streaming, wherever you might be all over the world, welcome and thank you for joining us. And I do hope that you enjoy our graduation. And I know you're pr all proud of our students, as we all are. Um, I want to just take a moment. And of course, I'm Mr. Berman. I'm the principal uh, and, and the most lucky person in the world to be the leader of the Krista McAuliffe School. And we have a wonderful team. And I want to introduce some of the people here. Uh, and they're joining us on the stage. First, Mrs. Siddiqui, our assistant principal. You can give her a round of applause because... <laughs> all of the people here have dedicated uh, and are de dedicated to our school. Next, we have Mrs. Forsyth, who you already met, <laughs> assistant principal. <laughs> Mrs. Seda, AP from Academy for Arts and Humanities. Mrs. Pissarro, our AP from Scientific Research. Next, we have our two lovely guidance counselors. First, Mrs. Giordano. I know you thought I was going to say Demazatovsky. Next, Ms. Ang. The next person I have is a member of our executive board on our PTO and has worked hard for us for the last few years, Dr. Jason Steinert. Applause 
Next, our, our treasurer, who I had uh, the opportunity to, to speak to a little bit this morning, and, and I shared with her how grateful I was and I am for her work. And just so you know, boys and girls, if you ever become the treasurer of an organization, know you're going to be doing a lot of work. You can't just say, oh, I can't go tonight. You know, you have to, you have to really put in a lot of work. And this woman has Ms. Madeline Ligori's uh, link. Thank you very, very much. Next is Mrs. Kim Jalay, and I have a little bit more to say about her later. <laughs> Not too much later. <laughs> and uh, her wonderful partner, Mr. Vito Labella, our PTO president. <laughs> thank you all for being here today, and, and, and thank you, parents, for sharing your wonderful, wonderful children um, with us. And now, graduates, each of you have earned the right to be here today by completing the requirements of the city of New York. We know you have learned a great deal more than that. The diplomas that you're going to receive represent a measure of your achievement. And of course, the reason for us being here to recognize and acknowledge your achievement at the Krista McAuliffe School by our attendance, our praise, and of course, our awards of which many of you will receive today. Um, I hope, though, however, that you've learned that some of the most valuable lessons don't have anything to do and can't be measured by any test at all. For example, I hope you've learned to surround yourself with good people. That doesn't only mean smart people, by the way. It means people who know right from wrong. It means people who will make choices not because they're the easy choices, but because they're the right choices. I think you've also learned that doing the right thing is often the most difficult thing to do. Among us here today are the future leaders of our communities and our country. And I know that you will make the right tough decisions and lead us well in the future. At this point, I want to acknowledge two outstandingly good people and leaders who have made the great choice to devote a tremendous amount of energy and time to our school, to all of our students, and to all of our families. First, the very elegant Kim Jalay, our PTO fundraising chairperson, <laughs> bake sale maven, and mom to all. Um, we have. We have just a small token to thank you for all you've given to our students and our families. And I know that you often put our needs ahead of your own family's needs. I do know that, and I'll always be grateful for that. You. You've left some big shoes to fill. So thank you very, very much. Thank and I don't want you to go away. I want you to stay here with me for a moment. Because the next person I want to join us up here is her partner, Mr. Vito Labella. Um, I want to thank him for his years of service to our school. It's coming on eight years now. Mr. Labella started as a volunteer who wanted to join our leadership team and came to a meeting, not even as a member. He just wanted to come and watch and listen. And boy, it's been a long road, and it's been a great road, and you've come a very, very, very long way. Um, this, this time has culminated in your tenure as PTO president. And I mean, you've helped set school policy. You've been a voice for parents. You brought our PTO to 501c3 status so that when you make donations, you can deduct them as part of your taxes. And it's been a wonderful way to increase the coffers of the PTO, which go right back to you, boys and girls, for assemblies and programs and wonderful things for our school. But most of all, I can say this about both of you, and that is that you've cared for our students, you've loved our students and our school. We're grateful and that you have dedicated your service, and this is really from all of us. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get a picture. Now, of course, this is really about our graduates, and you know, there are so many problems out there today, boys and girls, the economy, inflation, 
trust in our public officials, hunger, disease, war. But despite these problems, I am comforted by the fact that you are the most prepared individuals who are going to lead us into our future and who are going to tackle these problems. These fine young women, ladies and gentlemen, are the foundations of our future, and strong foundations indeed they are. I am confident, boys and girls, that you will help make a difference. Make a difference, boys and girls. You know how to do that. I want to share just one little piece of, of advice to you and a little bit of a personal story as, as we kind of go through this. I used to tell a story at, at graduation, or at least I've often told this story, uh, about um, a young student who wanted to be a, a martial artist master and went to the, the sensei and was so focused on being the best student and wanted to do whatever they could whatever shortcut it was, whatever they needed to do to be the best. And each time the student said to the sensei, well, how long is this going to take? Well, the sensei would say, well, 10 years. Well, what if I did all these other things? Well, no, it's going to take even longer. But what if I did these other things? Well, it's going to take even longer than that. And the student couldn't understand why doing more and working all of this way was going to wind up taking longer. The lesson, boys and girls, is it's important to have goals. I know you have things that you're looking forward to in your futures, whether it's college, high school, and beyond, and these are all exciting things. But don't lose sight of the moment, boys and girls. Never lose sight of being in the moment and enjoying where you are. If you're constantly looking ahead, you're not paying attention to what's going on around you. That will not help you find your way. It's when you're paying attention to all the things that are important, when you live in the moment, and you care about what's going on with you now. That's what will help you find your way and achieve your goals. I told you I was gonna share something personal with you, and I guess it's somewhat related. You know, I like to fish. I fish a lot, some of you know that. And one of the things I learned this spring was to live in that moment that I'm talking about. Whenever I was fishing, I was always thinking about the next fish. I've got a fish on my line. I'm not thinking about that fish. I'm thinking about the next fish. Well, I gotta get this one in quickly, because if I get, don't get this one in quickly, I'm gonna miss the next one. You know what? I stopped and I said, you know, I need to enjoy what I'm doing now. Stop thinking so far ahead. Stop worrying about the next one and focus on this one. And you know what? I catch a lot of more fish now. I want to end <clears throat> with a quote from our graduation program. And it was initially used by our previous principal, Mr. John Adams, almost 20 years ago. It's a quote from Walt Whitman. You can find it in the program. And he wrote, the untold want by life and land never granted. Now voyager, sail thou forth to seek and find. My final wish for you boys and girls is to make the most of your lives, make a difference, and always follow your dreams. I will miss you all. Thank you. At this point, I want to introduce Ms. Seda, who I believe, I'm sorry? Ah, Mrs. Lochisano, who will come up. Uh, Mrs. Lochisano has the wonderful, wonderful role, and she's been doing this for a number of years for us in sharing our graduation award winners. Your students are so very talented. There are graduation awards that we're going to be giving out now. There are also awards in the academic subjects that your children have earned, and we'll be sharing those with you as they're coming across the stage. Mrs. Lochisano. Thank you. 
Thank you, Mr. Berman. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much. It is with great pleasure that I present the following awards. John Quincy Adams Memorial Award for Academic and Music Excellence, Hannah Shee, Class 811 for Chorus, Megan Kwok, 802, Band. The John Quincy Adams PTO Memorial Award, Liam Coffey. <laughs> New York State Senator Andrew Gernardis Community Service Award, Vivi Dong, 805. <laughs> Lucy Lin. 803. Sophia Lynn, 811. The Middle School Principals Award goes to Haylan Chen, 801. Prince Zhang, 806. and Jenny Zhao, 812. <laughs> Councilman Justin Brennan Future Leader Award goes to Kathy Liang, 810, <laughs> and Manor Razwan, 806. The CSA Blanche Schwartz Award goes to Jasmine Chen. <laughs> Stephen Link. <laughs> and Crystal Zhang. The CSA Leadership Award goes to Nicole Chen. Megan Kwok, Morgan Labella, and the following award goes to a parent, Lucy Romero. The AFSA Leadership Award, Suzanne Akar. <laughs> Lubaba Naula. <laughs> Jolene Zhang. UFT Academic Achievement and Character Award, Melanie Chen. Sarah Chen. Liam Craig.
The PTO Awards, Matthew Chen and Benson Zhang. Principal Awards for Special Achievement, Academy for Business and Law, Nicole Chen, Jessica Cito, Academy for Arts and Humanities, Chloe Cheng, Hui Lin Lu, Academy for Scientific Research, Hei Lan Chen, Sandy Yang. The Krista McAuliffe Merit Award, Christy Gao, Anson Lian, Haifa Udin, The Krista McAuliffe Perseverance Award, Jeffrey Fung, Anthony Liu, Joseph Tappan. The Krista McAuliffe Character Award, Naomi Cadet, Jovalim Luna Gabriel. And last but not least, our valedictorians, Kayla Tang in 805. Academy for Business and Law, Chloe Tam, 810, Academy for Arts and Humanities, and Karen Zhu, 802, Academy for Scientific Research. Congratulations, everyone. Best of luck. Thank you very much, Mrs. Lochisano, and congratulations to all of our award winners. We're very proud of you. Let's give them another round of applause. They certainly deserve it. At this time, I want to introduce someone who has been so incredibly helpful to me throughout this year and the last eight years as AP here at IS 187, and that is Ms. Mina Siddiqui. Come on up. Good morning, everyone. It is a true priv privilege to be a member of the IS 187 community. I had the utmost pleasure and pride in leading the Academy of Business and Law, also known as ABL. At Krista McAuliffe, we have three incredible academies, each offering a safe community where students can thrive. Our academies create one dynamic school, all led by our principal, Mr. Berman. This year, we had the pleasure of introducing two new assistant principals in addition to Ms. Forsythe. We have Stephanie Pissarro and Brianne Seda. Let's hear it for them, please. It is my honor to work and collaborate with them every day. Their drive, professionalism, and creativity inspire me to become a better leader, and I thank you for that. Thank you, ladies. Last summer, we began planning for the school year with so much trepidation. The unknown restrictions, the ever-changing regulations were a constant fear. Our priority was to welcome you back, see you together again, create new experiences, 
make new in-person memories, and of course, provide an environment where you feel safe, heard, and challenged. However, I know constant COVID testing, multiple exposure emails, and piles upon piles of at-home test kits and schedule changes continue to be a part of your daily life. You handled each interruption with maturity and versatility that many adults would not have been able to achieve. Preparing for today's graduation, I was thinking about your sixth grade smiles and the anticipation of what was to come. The disappointment of going remote and popping into your seventh grade classes, your Zoom classes, because I missed you so very much. And then I think of your eighth grade confidence you developed and the strength and how that strengthened this year. Middle school can be such a strange place. It is a place of transition where we are privileged to take our very first steps into adulthood. Graduates, I urge you to take risks, get out of your comfort zone, make mistakes, laugh at yourself, experience the laughter and the joy that your long life has to offer. Each of you has a separate journey, one that is as individual as you are, and your struggles and hard work have not gone unnoticed. Graduation is a culmination of effort, growth, and achievement. It's also a day filled with emotions. The poet Khalil Gibran eloquently said, yesterday is but today's memory, and tomorrow is today's dream. Graduates, please continue to dream strengthen your abilities and become the caring and empathetic adults who will evoke positive change. Graduates, whatever your beliefs, passions, and dreams are, express them, share them, and persist. As your next journey begins, remember you have achieved, motivated, and empowered others to take risks. Graduates, thank you for being role models for our academy and our school. Your accomplishments in contests, scholarships, awards, academy presentation gave us back our ABL community spirit, and I thank you for that. ABL, you have inspired me every single day. You have created days filled with laughter, pride, and a celebration of your excellence. I will miss you, I adore you, and as always, ABL, you have made me so proud. Thank you. It is my pleasure to introduce our ABL valedictorian, Kayla Tang. Good morning, Mr. Berman, assistant principals, faculty, families, and most importantly, fellow graduates. It is a great honor to have the opportunity to speak on behalf of the graduating class today, and congratulations to the class of 2022. First and foremost, I would like to thank my family for always being there and encouraging me to follow my dreams and do what makes me happy. I want to thank each and every one of the extraordinary teachers at Krista McAuliffe for having high expectations and pushing us beyond our limits so we realize we are capable of so much more. I also want to give a big shout out to my friends for being by my side each and every day and for making middle school one of the most memorable experiences of my life. I wouldn't be where I am today without the love and support I received from my family, friends, and teachers. We have faced many challenges since the very beginning of our middle school journey. Starting with sixth grade, I was worried about getting lost in the hallways and being late for class. Sadly, our sixth grade got cut short and we had to switch gears to remote learning, which became the new norm. This was certainly a difficult time for everyone as we had to adapt to new learning methods. I still remember that last Friday before the shutdown in March of 2020. Who would have known that we wouldn't be back in the school building until a year and a half later? By the end of seventh grade, I was extremely thrilled knowing that our eighth grade year would be in person. We usually go on a lot of trips, but the options were limited due to the pandemic. I truly appreciate Ms. Siddiqui for going the extra mile to schedule trips and fun activities for us to make the most out of our senior year. 
Going on the overnight trip was one of my favorite memories. I remember staying up late and having a blast in the hotel room with my friends. Even though we couldn't spend our three years like other middle schoolers in the past, we should cherish all the moments we have together because these moments turn into sweet and unforgettable memories. As we move on to our next chapter in life, we may face more obstacles. But don't let these hurdles or hinder define who we are. Challenges are an excellent opportunity for growth. We could let these challenges serve as a mental block or we can embrace and learn from them. When you overcome them, you develop emotional and mental strength. Best of luck to everyone on their high school journey and congratulations again to the class of 2022. We did it. Thank you. Congratulations, Kayla. You did a wonderful, wonderful job. And now I have the pleasure of introducing Ms. Snyder and Class 805. It is my pleasure to introduce the class, the graduates of 805, Suzanne Akyar, with an award in technology, business, and a monitor award. Ryan Bao. Maggie Chen, with an award in Spanish, technology, business, PE, and monitoring. Nicole Chen, an ELA Math, Science, and Service Award. Pintong Chen. Vivi Dong, with an award in Science, Social Studies, and Monitor. Isabella Fan, with an award in Service. Lucas Fulton, with an award in Chorus and Technology. Laura Gao, with an award in Monitoring. Adam Koch, a service award. Samantha Kong. Han Yu Lee, with an award in art. Rebecca Lee. Stephanie Lee, with an award in social studies, Spanish, art, and service. Emily Lin. Rachel Lin, with an award in service. Jaden Liu with an award in PE. Ethan Liu with an award in math, business, and monitoring. Jovaline Gabriel, Luna Gabriel with an award in ELA, Spanish, chorus, theater, and monitoring. Davina May, Rami Muaki Daddy with an award in monitoring. Sabanjan Paul with an award in social studies and PE. Laura Song with an award in art and service. Benjamin Tan. Kayla Tang with an award in service. Darren Trong, an award in math and service. Suki Wang, an award in science and monitoring. Selena Wu, an award in ELA. Michelle Xiao, Anna Zhang, Eddie Zhang with an award in service and chorus, and Kyle Zhang. Congratulations, class 805.
Thank you so much, Ms. Snyder. And 8.05. Again, my pleasure to introduce Ms. Ng and Class 806. Thank you. Good morning. I am proud to introduce the graduates of class 806. Rahan Ahmad. Rahan is getting an award in math. Jessica Alderetti. Chloe Chan. Chloe is getting a social studies award. Justin Chen. Marilyn Chora. She is getting an award in theater. Mary Fang. Mary is getting an award in ELA and in theater. Aiden Gavorkian. Darren Lam. Anson Leanne. Anson is receiving an award in math. Joey Lin. Joey is receiving a service award. Darren Liu. Darren is receiving an award in Spanish, technology, and theater. Janice Nee. Janice is getting an award in social studies. Kieran Ao. Kieran is getting an award in Spanish and phys ed. Joshua Perez. Emily Rapasolius. Manor Raswan. Manor is getting awards in technology, business, and monitoring. Jessica Cito. Jessica is getting awards in science, business, and monitoring. John Soto. John Soto is getting an award in social studies. Crystal Sang. Crystal is getting awards in technology, physical education, and monitoring. Esther Zhang is getting an award in ELA and in science. Kyle Zhang and Prince Zhang. Prince is getting awards in ELA, math, science, Spanish, business, and monitoring. Thank you so much, Ms. Ng. I now have the pleasure, once again, of introducing Ms. Lochisano and 807. Good morning again. Class 807, Deanna Ali, receiving an award for service and physical education. Benson Chen, receiving an award in science, social studies, business, art, and physical education. Matthew Chen, tech, band, PE. Melanie Chen, Yi Cheng, Fiona Chiang, service award. Andrew Chu, Deshaun Davis, Leon Du, Matthew Fajadarov, Justin He, Emily Lee, receiving an award in math and service. 
Irene Lynn receiving an award in ELA and service. Marcus Lynn receiving an award in ELA and business. Ryan Liu receiving an award in math, science, social studies, and Spanish. Max Mora, I'm sorry, Kevin May. Kevin May, sorry. Max Mora, tech and service. Anthony Ao. Mia receiving an award in math, art, service, and Spanish. Saad Sandu. Joseph Tappan receiving an award in social studies, Spanish, band, and physical education. David Tang, service award. Tyler Tai, service award. Vincent Wu, science and tech. Alan Yang, Tiffany Yu, ELA, business, art, and monitor. Benson Zhang, service award. And last but not least, Sophia Zhu Service Award. Congratulations, Class 807. Thank you to all of ABL and all of the teachers here today, and especially the graduating class. Thank you, Mrs. Siddiqui, and congratulations, ABL. We're very, very proud of you. Next, we have the Academy for Arts and Humanities, who's led by AP, Ms. Brianne Seda. Come on up. Thank you. Good morning, families, faculty, and most importantly, class of 2022. I am so honored to stand before you as I complete my first year as your Arts and Humanities Assistant Principal. As I sat in my office and began writing my speech for graduation, the quote hanging on my office wall resonated with me. My grandmother had clipped the quote out of a newspaper and carried it with her every day and eventually gave it to me and said, this is a quote that I hope that you live by. The quote states, life is like a book. Every page you write, you carry with you. You don't get to tear pages out and throw them away. So write wisely. It doesn't matter what others write. They don't know you at all. But what you write is indelible. Graduates, you sure wrote a lot of pages your last three years at Kristen McCullough. Today is your final chapter at our school, and I am sure you are sitting today with mixed emotions about graduating. But I want to take a minute to reminisce with you all. Of course, you will never forget the big moments, such as graduating, but it is equally as important to remember the small moments that filled those pages. I hope you remember the little things about Krista McAuliffe, such as your friends you made on the first day of sixth grade, and how could you forget the dreaded 104 stairs that you had to climb to get to the fifth floor. Then we moved to, into seventh grade, the blended year, where you had cha a challenging year, and inevitably it made us all stronger. How could we forget the numerous times that you were told that you were muted or your teacher was muted? Although we had blended and remote learners, we could still be a community through our numerous virtual events, such as you're muted 
or the famous event of marshmallow mumble when Mr. Shiner and Mrs. Varagis stuffed their mouths with marshmallows as a challenge. Finally, as we approached the eighth grade and the closing chapter of your McAuliffe experience, we were able to be back together. And boy, did we make up for lost time. This year, we were able to add many details to our story. Through our first Academy events of Picture Perfect, the I Play America trip, concerts, various lunch periods of monitoring and hanging out in the lunchroom, and how can we forget the overnight trip to Philadelphia and Hershey Park. The best part is that we still have two more days to create even more memories and moments together. As you move into high school, I hope that you never forget these chapters of your stories and take all that you have learned and build upon those experiences and moments to make sure that your life is all that you dream for it to be. My wish for you in high school and life is that you work hard, make mistakes and learn from them, enjoy the small moments of life, and most importantly, to love yourself and be proud of who you are and the story that you are writing. Arts and Humanities, I am so proud to be a small detail of your story. And please know that your class will hold a special place in my story as my first graduating class as an assistant principal of Arts and Humanities. I wish you all the best in high school and all your future chapters of your life. I know that you will accomplish great things. Thank you. And now it is my pleasure to introduce the Arts and Humanities 2022 valedictorian, Chloe Tam. Thank you for introducing me, Ms. Seda. Remember when we were naive, innocent sixth graders? Excited to go to a new school, meet new friends, and learn new things? Then COVID hit. Little did we know that a tiny virus would cause a huge worldwide event that would affect our school career. The pandemic was probably the most unusual of all our experiences at McCullough's. Remote learning, masks, and social distancing were never before employed in schools at such a wide scale. However, out of it, we learned to be adaptable, to improve our health and hygiene, and to value socialization and staying well. Look at us now, as graduating seniors of this middle school. During our three years at Krista McCullough's, we have learned many important lessons, both academically and socially through our memories and time at this school. As we are approaching the end of our experience here, there are many people to thank that helped us to get where we are now. Firstly, our friends, who always help us up when we are down, make us laugh and have our backs. Next. We should give gratitude to the teachers at Krista McCullough's, as they taught us not only to be good students, but also to be productive members of society by reinforcing our learning and helping us consider our future. Our families, for always motivating us to do our best and supporting us in academics and in life. And lastly, our principals and school community overall, for keeping us safe, assisting us with whatever we need and always being there to support us. High school will be a new experience for us all. We will meet new people, make new friends, and go through something completely different than what we are used to. Look forward to it. Who knows? It might be an exhilarating, fun, and great experience. Although some of you might think that it might be terrible, we can try not to make it that way, as it will be a time for us to find ourselves and think about our next steps in life. I sincerely hope that everyone had a great three years at IS-187. Make sure not to lose touch with your friends and teachers, because as we move on to the next chapter of our lives, we need to remember and value the time that we have spent here and to use these experiences to better ourselves and our time hereafter. Good luck on your future endeavors and congratulations, class of 2022. I would now like to present the Arts and Humanities graduating class with the start of 810 and Ms. Jaffe. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Good morning. I am honored to present the graduates of Class 810. Hadia Ali, receiving an award in Social Studies and Phys Ed. Karina Kao, Sinya Chen, receiving an award as Monitor. Iris Chen, receiving an award as Monitor. Jasmine Chen, receiving an award as Monitor. Liam Craig, receiving an award in Social Studies. Emerson Dong, receiving an award in Phys Ed. Calista Fowler, Christy Gao, receiving an award in ELA and Math. Randy He, Maggie Wong, receiving an award in theater and as a monitor. Morgan Labella, receiving an award as monitor. Ivan Lee, receiving an award in Spanish. Kathy Liang, receiving an award in ELA and art. Matthew Pan Lin, receiving an award in science and technology. Anthony Liu, receiving an award in band and as a monitor. Sean Mansour, receiving an award in social studies. Chloe Tam, receiving an award in ELA, math, science, and Spanish. Ethan Tan, Colette Walford, receiving an award in Spanish, technology, art, and service. Kayla Wang, receiving an award in math and science. Winnie Wang, Angelina Wang, receiving an award in PE. Benjamin Wang, receiving an award um, Stephen Wu, receiving an award in band. Wei Jun Wu. Casey Zhu, receiving an award in art. Fiona Zhang, receiving an award in technology. Jackie Zhang. And last but not least, Lena Zhang. Congratulations, Class A10. I would now like to present Ms. Larson and Class 811. I'm honored to present the graduates of Class 811. Alice Kai, receiving an award for math and technology. Eileen Chen. Ivan Chen, Jennifer Chen, Chloe Chern, receiving an award for technology, William Fang, Brian Guo, Tiffany He, receiving an award for science and for art, Fiona Huang, receiving a math award, Jamily Huang, receiving awards in math and science. Bella Jiang. Crystal Kong. Aviana Lai, awards in ELA and in chorus. Lauren Lamana. Alani Liang, receiving an award for theater. Brady Lin receiving an award for physical education. Bronson Lin. Sophia Lin, receiving awards for chorus and for service. Vincent Lin, 
receiving awards for social studies and physical education. Hoi Lin Liu, receiving an award for science. Connor Mack, Lubaba Naula, receiving awards for ELA, social studies, Spanish, and chorus. Sarah Pizonia, Elsa Marie Rodriguez, receiving an art award. Olivia Shamayeva, uh, receiving a service award. Spanish award, I'm sorry. Hannah Shi, receiving awards in ELA, social studies, Spanish, technology, and art. Natalie Tam, Janet Sang, receiving an award for physical education. Rachel Wang, William Wu, and Maggie Su. Congratulations, class of 811. I would now like to present Mr. Zhang and class 812. I am honored to present the graduates of class A12. Jenna Nicole Batista with an award in tech. Hunter Ann Benedetto with an award in social studies. Hannah Bakiri. Naomi Cadet with awards in Spanish and PE. Gianna Caputo with an award in tech. Sean Chen. Dolce Isabella Cisnero Steinert. Tiffany Diaz with an award in ELA, Spanish, and theater. Roberto Diaz Valencia with an award in social studies. Angelina Dong. Shanze Fahid. Ada Rose Gordon with an award in ELA, math, science, social studies, and theater. Kayla Kwong. Sophie Huang with awards in science and art. Cedra Khalil. Kenex Lee with an award in Spanish. William Lee with awards in science and math. Raymond Lin. Andy Liu. Wenlong Liu. Lee Rose Papa Nicolau with an award in ELA, Tech, and Theater. Paloma Camilla Ponce with awards in Art. Janice Valerio. Rachel Wang. Alvin Wu. Anson Wu. And Ginny Zhou with awards in Tech, oh, sorry, Art and PE. Congratulations, class of 812. I would now like to present Ms. Tung in class 813. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm so proud and honored to present the graduates of class 813. We have Sidratul Arvin receiving an award in ELA and science. Isaac Joshua Bayolima, receiving an award in math, theater, phys ed, and service. Oswaldo Alexis Gomez, receiving an award in Spanish and service. Alexandria Hayek, receiving an award in ELA and arts. 
Avon Lynn receiving an award in ELA, Math, Science, Social Studies, and Spanish. Eric Mendez is receiving an award in Arts. Jason Mora Rojas receiving an award in Service. Mark Daniel Morales receiving an award in Math, Social Studies, Arts, Phys Ed, and Service. Manny Osario receiving service in ELA. Alexander Perez receiving service in math. Ian Romero receiving an award in science, social studies, Spanish, phys ed, and service. Kayla Sabrina Zambrano receiving an award in service. We have Jeffrey Fung receiving an award in social studies and science and Danny Lynn receiving an award in social studies. Congratulations, 813. I would now like to present Ms. Lopez in class 529. I am so proud to present class 519 and 529. Sorry, Jala Chen, receiving ELA, Math, Social Studies, Service, Phys Ed, and PTO ACE Award. Kelly Chen, receiving a PTO ACE Award. Liam Coffey, receiving a Phys Ed, PTO, and ACE Award. Kevin Guzman Sillo, receiving ELA, Math, Science, Food Prep Service, PTO, ACE Award. Connor Johnson, receiving a Phys Ed, PTO, and ACE Award. Evan Liu, receiving a PTO, ACE Award. Catherine Lopez, receiving Science PTO ACE Award. Yaelin Maldonado, receiving Science Food Prep Service PTO ACE Award. Mia Mendoza, Math, Social Studies, Food Prep PTO ACE Award. Jasmine Osorio Bravo, Art PTO ACE Award. Sabrina Parada, Art PTO ACE Award. And Jacob Rodriguez. Over here, baby. Over here. Jacob Rodriguez receiving ELA PTO ACE Award. Thank you, 519 and 29. Congratulations to all of our Arts and Humanities graduates. Congratulations, Arts and Humanities. Let's hear it again for them. Well done, boys and girls. At this time, I'd like to invite Mrs. Stephanie Pissarro, AP for Scientific Research. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Berman. I am so proud of the students sitting before me. They deserve so much credit for getting through the last three years, and it has made them so much stronger and resilient than most other graduates from Krista McAuliffe. To the parents, grandparents, family, and friends who stood by and supported these graduates the past three years, more than you probably ever anticipated, 
having to do so, this day is just as much yours. So congratulations to you as well. You have all come such a long way from sixth grade when you walked into our school with your ginormous backpacks that were probably bigger than you and weighed more than you did as you ran from one class to another, not caring who's in your way, as if they were giving you a prize getting to the next class, to seventh grade, which I think is a little bit of a blur for all of us, when your day was consumed by bouncing from one Zoom meet to another, and your teachers would just pray that they would hear your voice within the 45 minute period, and somebody would just turn on their camera so they can see you. To eighth grade, where normal made a little bit of a comeback, and we really enjoyed what we took for granted in the past. Being able to eat together in the cafeteria as an academy, being able to go on trips, being able to sit next to your friends in class and actually do things as a group. And I know I can speak for everybody on stage and in our school to say that the best part of this year was getting to see you every day. To get to know you, to laugh with you, to see your talents and personalities really come to light. I, as I got to know you, I really saw myself in many of you. I was always that kid who wanted to get 100, always wanted to be the best, worked so hard just to get everything right. All qualities that are admirable but I want you to realize that sometimes being a perfectionist can hold you back. Don't allow your desire to have everything right and be the best and your hard work prevent you from being challenged. Do things that make you nervous. You'll never know what you're capable of unless you try those things. Every single one of you has the potential to achieve greatness but this is not something that is handed to you. Greatness only comes when you're willing to take risks. Robert Kennedy said, only those who dare to fail greatly will ever achieve greatly. Don't sell yourself short because you're afraid to fail. Embrace the challenge, embrace the struggle, the mistakes, the possibility of failure, knowing that it will lead you to be the best that you can be. And on your way to the top, be a leader. Empower others. Bring everybody up with you. I look forward to hearing from you in two years, five years, 10 years, to find out the challenges that you took on and the leaders that you will become. Throughout life, you will have many firsts. Your first love, your first day of high school, your first overnight trip, your first best friends, ASR, you are my first. You will always be remembered and will always have a special place in my heart. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you. It is an honor for me to introduce the valedictorian for the Academ Academy of Scientific Research, Karen Shi from class 802. Hi everyone who is here this fine morning. My name is Karen Shi. I'm sure many of you can't wait to graduate and leave already, but thank you for giving me this time to speak. I remember first coming to this school as a tiny sixth grader, although I'm still quite tiny, just having graduated from fifth grade. All summer I have been thinking, why get along with my classmates and teachers? Why make friends? Why even make it out alive? I was in the cafeteria one day, and I saw a particular student struggling to find a seat. And being the kind civilian I am, I made space for her. This small act led to my first friend in McAuliffe, Sandy. Unexpectedly, 
I met other close friends whose names are Lucy and Emily. I would like to say thank you to them for accompanying me throughout my school journey and hopefully even further in life. This welcoming feeling helped me and perhaps many of you to adjust to this school. However, in the midst of this period of adjustment, a particular fellow joined. This fellow, as you may have guessed, is the pandemic. And here began the historical event we call remote learning. I still remember the teachers struggling with technical difficulties, especially the infamous unmute button, as well as the work-filled and monotonous days. But with the support of friends, family, and teachers, we made it out. Then eighth grade arrived. It felt like a sudden jump from sixth to eighth grade. Now let me bring in a feeling that rings a bell, a feeling that you know well and that you want to experience less. It's called stress. Yes, stress was the topic of my very first awkward rap made during remote learning that you can make fun of later. But anyway, I think many of you can agree that stress was a big factor, not only this year, but all three years. With the high school process, many big tests, and especially the expectations put on us by others and ourselves, it was definitely overwhelming. But as I've learned, sometimes high expectations can lead to good results. Many happy memories came with these dark times, whether it be the trips we went on or just simple interactions we had throughout the year. At this time, I would like to shout out the teachers who I'm particularly grateful for. Ms. Luca, who always brings sunshine to the room, Ms. D, who taught us that common sense isn't so common. Ms. Larson, who draws museum quality graphs. Mrs. Pissarro for being the amazing hardworking academy facilitator she is. And Ms. Mullen, who enjoys pizza salad, which I wouldn't fancy. <laughs> Thank you to all the other teachers who contributed to our middle school experience as well. And of course, I can't forget to acknowledge my homeroom class 802, for being wonderful classmates these past three years. McAuliffe and ASR hasn't been just an experience, but an important part of who I've and hopefully you've become. Now as I look back, I can answer the questions I used to have. Yes, I fortunately got along with my classmates and teachers, made friends, and most importantly, we made it out alive. So congratulations, fellow graduates, and I wish you all the best in high school. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mrs. Mullen and Class 801. Good morning. I am proud to introduce the graduates of Class 801. Samia Alam. Samia is receiving an award in Phys Ed. Jackie Chen. Jackie is receiving an award in Tech. Jesse Chen. Sarah Chen, receiving awards in ELA, Science, Social Studies, and for Service. Michael Dung. Sophia Gong, receiving awards in Spanish and for service. Sheng Hu, Wen Yi Huang, Alex Jiang, receiving an award in math. Tassan Kashem, Paige Clapper, Ryan Lai, Kirsten Lee, Leah Lang, receiving awards in ELA, Science and Art. Jashuan Lin, receiving awards in Civil Engineering and Art. Stephen Link, receiving awards in Spanish, Tech, Civil Engineering and for Service. Kyle Liu. Stephanie Ma, receiving an award for Math. Mum Tahina Moon, receiving an award in Art. Jeff Oh, 
receiving, sorry, Isaac Peng receiving an award in social studies, Musa Rahman, Makari Ren, Eric Sko receiving an award in Spanish, Travis Tam, Haifa Udin receiving awards in ELA, math and science. Christy Wang, receiving awards in tech and civil engineering. Jaden Wong, receiving an award in phys ed. Terrence Wu, Viona Yan, Ada Zhang, Cheyenne Zhao, and Kathy Zong, receiving awards in social studies, phys ed, and for service. Congratulations, Class 801. It is now my pleasure to introduce Ms. Luca in class 802. Good morning. It is now my pleasure to announce class 802. Eitan Chen. Darren Chen with an award in phys ed. Frankie Chen. Jay Chen, Jalen Chen with an award in phys ed, Jofi Chen, Wan Sin Gao with an award in civil engineering, art, and ELA, Jerry Jang, Megan Kwok, Hannah Lauscher with an award in tech, Karina Lee, Zhang Zili, Lucy Lin with an award in ELA, Science, Art, Service, and Monitor Award, Ryan Lin, Kyle Liu, Louis Liu, Jun Yi Liu, Caitlin Pang with an award in Civil Engineering, Emily Rudick with an award in tech and monitoring. Paulina Vates with an award in tech and band. Matthew Wang. Amelia Weaver with an award in band and phys ed. Winnie Wu with an award in math, civil engineering and monitoring. Jolene Chong with an award in science, social studies, service, and monitoring. Karen Chi with an award in math and social studies. Sandy Yang with an award in ELA, math, science, and social studies. Ann Yao with an award in art. Charlene Zhang. Ricky Zhang, and Frank Zhu. Congratulations, Class 802. I will now introduce Ms. Jagori and Class 803. Good morning. I am very proud and honored to present the wonderful Class 803 graduates, Tamid Azmir, 
Hailan Chan receiving the following awards, ELA, Math, Science, Social Studies, and Chorus. Kenny Chen. Nicole Fang receiving Art Award. Bilal Hassan receiving Technology, Civil Engineering, Physical Education, and Service Award. Brandon Hu receiving Social Studies, Technology, and Civil Engineering Award. Sonny Huang receiving Art Award. Winnie Jang. Audrey Kim receiving service award. Philip Kong. Athena Lee. Ivan Lee receiving the following awards. ELA, Math, Science, and Social Studies. Ethan Lin receiving Phys Ed award. Ocean Lee receiving ELA, Math, Science, and Technology award. Vanna Lu, Daisy Lu, Megan May, Megan receiving Chorus Phys Ed Monitor Award, Jamie Pan receiving Monitor Award, Arham Piraja receiving Chorus Award, Andrew Rossini, Emily Sicharan. Oscar Trainer, Jennifer Wang, Stephanie Wijaya, Sophie Wu, Yi Sha, Ming Zhao, Brian Zhang receiving Civil Engineering Arts and Service Award, Grace Zhang, Maliat Zohana, Congratulations, wonderful class 803. Congratulations to all of the graduates from the Academy of Scientific Research. Let's hear it one more time for the Academy for Scientific Research. Great job, boys and girls. So this has been such a great graduation. We are coming towards the end of it. And at this time, I would like all of our students to please stand. This is one of my favorite parts. <laughs> and so now the principals proclamation boys and girls and students of the class of 2022 please move your tassels from left to right and with the power given to me by the chancellor of the new york city department of education i hereby proclaim you graduates of the krista mcculloch school congratulations boys and girls Please be seated, boys and girls. And again, we're so very proud of you and just look so forward to the journeys that you're going to take and hearing about them and, and hearing about your successes. So again, congratulations to you. I want to make a very, very special thank you for some of the people who helped really put today's event together. In particular, Mr. Savarese, our graduation director. He's around, there he is right here. Mr. File, uh, also working very hard with our graduation this year and for many years. 
He's training lots of other people to work with him and help him, so thank you very much, Mr. File. Mr. Sylvester, thank you very much for stepping up. And I know you didn't really know you were going to be as engaged as you were this year. I thank you for just knowing where to be and when to be there. So thank you very, very much, Mr. Sylvester. Another person knowing where to be and when to be there, Mr. Wakey, thank you very, very much for uh, really working with our students. And I know we haven't heard the last of, of, of you. Um, really, all of our teachers and uh, staff who work so hard with you boys and girls, I know that you will remember them and uh, they have helped you along the way. Um, the staff here at the Ford Amphitheater, thank you very much for being so attentive to us and, and providing us with such a, a wonderful venue. And I do hope we'll be back for years to come. Uh, you really deserve uh, the, the special treatment that you get, boys and girls, because each of you is so, so very special. Um, graduation is always special to me. And I just really want to thank everyone for giving me the opportunity to, to lead and to participate in these graduations with the students over, geez, almost 18 years now. So uh, with that, I want to invite some students to come up to the stage. They would be our, what we call our alma mater singers. Would our alma mater singers please come on up? And Mr. Wakey as well. I told you we haven't heard the last of him. <laughs> this is the revised and revised again Krista McAuliffe alma mater. Thank you, alma mater singers. Thank you, graduates. Thank you, Mr. Wakey and Mr. Savarese for the musical accompaniment and uh, really for pulling it together for our students and for our families. Thank you all very, very much. Again, I am so grateful. And uh, 
our uh, entire performance uh, has been live streamed, and I'm sure, uh, pretty sure it's recorded as well, so you can relive this uh, as many times as you like and share it, of course, with friends and family and relatives. The link will be online. Uh, also, uh, thanks to our photographer who's going to provide all of the pictures here to you. Thanks, of course, to our wonderful PTO. Uh, and that link will be emailed to you too and you can download all of the pictures you want at no cost to you. They'll be up there for probably around 30 days or so. So get on that. And uh, I just want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful day. Congratulations, boys and girls. Parents, they'll meet you out on the boardwalk and have a wonderful, wonderful day. We've got a nice recessional song coming on up, and I do hope you enjoy that, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful summer. I'll see you all soon. Boys and girls, I'll miss you.